I'm Jennifer Sanasi. You're watching News 24 Live. Well, I'm joined in studio by our tech expert, Duncan. Now, I love when he comes in here because he shows off all of his brand new toys. But today, he's going to tell us what his top three apps are for all of you people out there with Android phones. Hello, Duncan. Hi, Jen. Hi. It's good to be here. Good. It's good to have you here again. Yeah. Good. Yeah, now you're well, gonna, there you go. <laughs> you're going to show us your top three must-have Android apps. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, First thing, right off the bat, uh, Android, or I should rather say smartphones, have changed remarkably from where they were just even two years ago. If you're old enough to remember, you know, when the dinosaurs were around, we had gingerbread, uh, Android 2.3, mm. and let's face it, it was nasty, it was unfinished, but Android has become more and more sophisticated, and it is now, it commands almost like 85% at least of the mobile smartphone market. So it's becoming the standard operating system on smartphones. Wow, now let's take a look at your top three apps. Right. Coming in at number three. Coming in at number three is a calculator. Boring. Right, that sounds really boring. It does, hey. Mm. But not this calculator. This is a financial calculator. Okay. Right. Do you have a loan from anyone? Of course you do. Right? We live, we have a loan. So if you're going to make a loan, you pull out your financial calculator, you put in a loan amount, and because, Jen, I know that you are the superstar here, we'll say one <laughs> million rand, <laughs> and we'll put there an interest rate of, uh, say, 9% if it's a bond, and we'll okay. say, oh, but Jen, you will pay that off of, uh, say, what, 11 years? Okay. And you ask this thing to calculate, and immediately it spits out, a, wow, that's a monthly payment and a half. Wow. A monthly payment, the total payment, as well as, you know, um, you can also calculate if you make an extra payment, how much you'll save in interest. Because you can see there, in your million rand loan, in interest alone, you will pay over half a million rand in interest. Jeez. So, this is just some of the tools you can do with this calculator. It's, it's quite amazing. You can do some other calculations as well, like you can calculate the date from one date to another date, for example, the date that you started working here to the date that you get married. Mm. <laughs> you can calculate those. Um, you can, I mean, there's just a number of really cool things you can calculate with this calculator. So I really think in terms of usefulness, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm not a great fan of those apps. We just poke a dog, poke a dog, poke a dog. I know. I like apps that actually offer something useful. It's not spammy. It does what it sits, says it's going to do. It's called FN Calculator, and I think it's a very, very useful app to have. So this app is going to make your life easier when it comes to anything with numbers. Anything with numbers. Even if, you, even if you're going out with your friends and, you know, the, the bill comes and you want to calculate how much of a tip we must mm. give, it's got a calculator built in to do that. So, of course, the geeks out there don't go out to eat anyway. Have no friends. But besides that, you know, most people will say, but I don't need to calculate it. I can do that in my head or I can I have another calculator. And that's fine. If you do, no problem. But for anyone else who, you know, feels they need to make a quick calculation on a particular topic right off the bat, this app has that calculator to do it. Great. Now we're moving on to the second app. Duncan, what do you have for us? Okay. Uh, coming in at number two is uh, a banking app. Okay. I'm not going to open my banking app because I don't want you to see how much I don't earn. <laughs> uh, but, and look, most of the major banks have banking apps now, mm -hmm. but if you have a smartphone, you must, I believe, get a banking app. It makes your life easy. Be and I'm not only talking about buying airtime or um, making the odd payment. I'm saying with a banking app today, mm -hmm. you can run your entire financial life from your smartphone and you can do it efficiently and effectively in a way that you can actually track where you are spending money. Wow. Um, Standard Bank just um, uh, completely revised their, their banking app. Their first attempt was a good one, but wasn't so great. They've revised it now. It's a really neat and tight one. First National Bank has taken all the different banking apps they've had and they've combined them into one app. You have a much more powerful payment platform. Um, Capitec, mm -hmm. who knew, right? Capitec mm -hmm. has even come out now with a banking wow. app. Wow. They're doing really well. So 
you know, if you have a smartphone, you should definitely, I think, you should definitely have a banking app. It's not a, it won't compromise you completely. And once it's set up, your wallet is effectively your smartphone. I can even pay myself cash using my banking app. All right, now moving into number three, Duncan, what do you have for us? All right, so the top app. And again, you know, I like apps that are useful. I like apps that uh, make my life easier and that help with my, with my mobile life. And so my top app has to be the all-in-one toolbox. All-in-one toolbox, you say? What? What's that? <laughs> okay, so the all-in-one toolbox is essentially a device management app. Okay. Uh, it allows you to manage your memory on the device. It gives you information about your network. It's always weak, hint, hint, mobile operator. Um, and then it allows you to clear that memory mm. by killing processes that are running in the background. Okay, so now, most smartphones have a, have a function where you can see which apps are running in the background. You can just throw them away like that. Right. That's nice, right? But with this one, you will see applications that are running in the background right. that you don't even see in your mobile applications, in your list. So it can help you kill even those other apps that, that are just, just taking up run. memory. Exactly, exactly. That's also cool. And then what I have is it allows you to uh, manage how your phone starts up. And uh, so, for example, say if you have, you know, if you install a new application, they always try to insert themselves into their startup mm -hmm. menu. So if you restart your phone for any reason, all those apps have to load right. as well. With this one, you can actually take out applications that you don't like and you don't want to start. For example, remember we spoke about ACR, mm -hmm. the recorder app? So I want that to start when my phone starts because I want it to always be available, so it's there. But other applications like, for example, my Facebook, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to start when my right. phone starts because I mean, hey, you know, I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that is what, that is what this, um, this application can do. Mm -hmm. um, on the face of it, it's a nice, easy application just to manage your memory on your phone. But if you have a little more time and you like poking around, you like discovering how things work, it's a really cool application to give you much more control over your smartphone than you would otherwise have. 